welcome. I'm John from FECN News Outdoor Channel. Um, right now is June 12, 2020. The COVID-19 thing is still going on, but over here in Northeast Florida, we're about uh, about 20 miles uh, west, southwest of St. Augustine, Florida. And of course, we're at our home. There's our backyard right here. We're going to show we're going to show you. Uh, a little bit about what you need probably and and how to do a how to set up a little backyard shooting that you and your children can enjoy uh, whether COVID-19 is going on or not as long as you got a backyard you have a safe background There's our backyard here is full of trees in the back um, so that's how we're going to do we're going to get started here First thing you're going to probably want well, is a gun, of course, some kind of a pellet rifle. And we'll cover that a little bit later on in the segment. Now you're going to want a target stand. I made my own. There's a whole bunch of different styles that you can choose from. They're available at the gun stores and maybe even Walmart has a couple uh, different, different varieties of them. I made this one out of wood. This is typically what I use when I go to the range. Very easy, you pick it up, it's got little stanzas, they pull it up. Just made it out with two 2x4 and some 1x4 pieces of wood. I, I uh, ripped down and cut. Stands up, or holds up in the wind. You know, moderate to uh, uh, low to moderate level wind. Okay, and for this, this is our target. Okay, we just use some of that uh, poster board type material that you can get at Walmart. In different various places and we use a splatter target we always use this whether we're using a regular firearm or pellet uh, pellet gun shooting uh, you can see the holes pretty easily it slides right on in then whenever this uh, poster board here gets shot up to the point there's not much left of it I just replace it with another poster board and tape another target on the front makes it very nice okay so you're going to need a gun you're going to need a target, you're going to need a target stand, you're going to need some targets. You're going to need, you're going to need one of these. My wife's operating the camera. First time she's ever used the camera, so you got to bear with us here, folks. We're trying to do this by ourselves, okay? This particular target stand is a Caldwell, Caldwell. Uh, they call it a Caldwell lead sled. It's fully adjustable. You have your front adjuster for leveling it if you want to use it for leveling it. Fairly fully adjustable. You have a little micro adjustment here on top for leveling your rifle when you're uh, you know trying to slide it in on your target. Uh, it's padded on the back. On the front, you have a little lockdown strap that goes over the over the uh, barrel in the front stock of your uh, rifle. You can kind of tie it down so it doesn't fall out of the stand. Okay, and you're going to want a target table, or some sort of a sturdy table. This is just one of those cheap, uh, like a Walmart uh, brand, you know, pulled up tables. And, uh, you know, the legs pulled up. It doesn't pull up in the middle. I suggest don't get one that pulls up in the middle for a target, or for a uh, rifle platform. And then for the top, we have... Uh, Basically, this is a, a drawer liner that you would use in your kitchen drawers. This is a heavier style drawer liner. It's like rubberized. I think we got this at Home Depot. It's two feet wide, and then we got it in a length that was, you know, uh, we probably over ordered. We probably over ordered it. We probably got like a I don't know eight foot length, and we just cut it down to fit our little table here. So we're gonna go on. <laughs> 